Hello everyone, my name is Ashre from First Updates Now, and today we are here at MTI with Team 16439 AlphaGo from Ashburn, Virginia. They're a second year team competing at MTI, which is a huge accomplishment in itself. Um, and they performed very well in Virginia, and now they're here at MTI doing equally as well. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. AFTC fans, are you ready for Freight Frenzy? Join us after kickoff live all weekend, September 18th and 19th, as we'll be out at Kettering University for the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. You'll get detailed breakdowns of game elements, the field, and prototyping and testing of robot components and assemblies. Watch live, view short videos after, and ask questions for the Kettering team at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. We're just going to run through their robot and see some of the really interesting and unique things that they do in their robot um, to make it perform so well as it has been doing throughout the day. So why don't you start us off and uh, walk us through your intake and then uh, how the ring sort of travels through your robot. Sure. So in the beginning of the match, our intake folds up uh, to fit inside the 18 by 18. And then over here, we have a linkage that deploys the intake down. And then the intake uses um, an 1150 RPM motor that spins these compliant wheels and tubing. The tubing really helps to intake piles or the stacks of rings. And we use this in auto to uh, intake the stack as well. After it gets sucked by the intake, it goes into our conveyor. Our conveyor uses uh, really grippy silicone bands that spin and transfer the rings all the way up into the magazine. So when the ring lands into our mag, the, we keep the mag initially straight. This is so the, there's no jamming or anything involved. Uh, and later when we have all three rings, uh, when the mag raises uh, with a linkage, it can automatically turn uh, to face the heading. This is so uh, it's more accurate when we shoot. Uh, if you want to come over here, uh, if you can see right through here, the mag can rotate three, uh, 720 degrees. This is so it's a lot faster and it has more range to follow the turret with. And it could raise through a, with a linkage, uh, powered by two servos, to follow the turret. And with that turret, we have two servos powering it with a 3 to 1 gear reduction. Uh, this is so the turret's a lot faster and uh, a lot more st stable. Um, it's, it could rotate up to 225 degrees in either direction. This can give us a huge advantage, especially in aut autonomous, where we can rotate 180 degrees to shoot. And then finally, in our shooter, we have two motors, uh, powered, uh, two wheels powered by two motors with a reduction of 1.8. And then up here, something unique we've, we've done is that we've actually powered the back wheel less than the front wheel. This is so we could uh, rev up the shooter really fast and have the same exit velocity. And also, for our trigger arm, we sprung it here uh, in the back. We have it sprung so that way it can retract a lot faster and so it's a lot more stable. This is powered by a speed servo for uh, even faster shots. During teleop, the wobble goal gripper stays inside our robot and when we want to pick up the wobble goal, it comes out and it's controlled by a servo. The entire plate and the claws are 3D printed and there's another servo in the middle attached to a linkage which allows us to open and close the claws easily to pick up the wobble goals. All right, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for the information about your robot. I was just wondering, is there any uh, cool software that you guys have implemented that helps you guys shoot so accurately throughout your matches? Yeah, definitely. So one of the main things that we do for auto aiming especially is that we have our three wheel odometry system, uh, which is really accurate. And so we also use the IMU and we Kalman filter this so it's even more accurate when we get a heading. Uh, that way we can easily reset and automatically detect the high goal when we're shooting. Uh, this is done by basic uh, trigonometry functions and it's always reliable for us. Uh, a few things we also did for shooter is uh, we implemented a velocity PID. This is so it always remains in the constant velocity throughout the entire match. 
We also have a few automated features, uh, such as when there's three rings loaded into the magazine, the magazine will automatically raise up and follow the turret. This is so we, there's no, we don't even waste any time in teleop or anything like that. All right, perfect. Well, it looks great. I think you guys have been doing amazing so far in your matches, so a big congrats on that. Uh, and good luck for the rest of your matches and eliminations. Thank you. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.